Anthropos here, and welcome to another exciting episode of You Don't Know. You don't know, huh? So don't act like you do. So something bad might happen to you. A gunter might get a hold of you. Yeah, so anyway, the videos I've been putting out recently has been some really groundbreaking stuff. Uh, anyone who's, if y'all have been following any of my, uh, any of my stuff, you know that I've been uh, doing an investigation. Come here, Gunter. On uh, the Tartarian reality. And these are, this is the reality of these buildings that are all across the United States that are, in fact, much older than we're told they are. Prime example would be Washington, D.C. You know, that, you know, whoever they say built that did not build that, okay? Maybe they built some of it, you know. Uh, but the truth has been hidden from us, and where they can't lie is the buildings, these Tartarian edifices. And that's why they've been steadily getting rid of these buildings in a campaign to destroy them, demolish them, and get rid of them altogether. But not all of them, but most of them. For the last 150 years, there's been a campaign to destroy these buildings. Some of the most magnificent buildings in the United States have been demolished and replaced with parking lots. This is the truth. But one thing that really stands out about these buildings is they don't have the architectural plans to any of them. If they say they have architectural plans and you look at what they present, it's basically just sketches, detailed sketches of the buildings after they're already built with no measurements or anything. It would be way too much beyond the scope of the, the, the predators who perpetrated this crime to have the people who are claiming to have built these buildings are claiming to have designed them to actually go and take measurements and get all the angles and stuff like that because let's face it folks we're talking about sacred geometry we're talking about trigonometry out the wazoo okay and recently uh there's been another investigator of the tartarian reality and i i'll come up with his name here in a moment but what he has led me on to is the fact of these greenhouses like the crystal palace i think in london these are huge glass buildings, and what he has discovered, and I think that he is right, is that these are actually greenhouses for the production of food. And this is where, and in these greenhouses, they were able to grow huge vegetables and stuff like this. And there's air systems, which they say are heaters, but they're probably not. They're probably CO2 pumps to pump CO2 in there to make the plants larger. And these buildings are massive massive buildings and they not only are covered with glass panes they, it's very sophisticated glass panes that is curved okay well there's the glass palace in london there's the glass palace in new york there's glass palaces it turns out all over the place now although most of them have probably been destroyed but even the ones that have been destroyed are well documented and have photographs or sketches and stuff like that of the um, building while it was still there and some of these buildings are still there now the one in London they did a World's Fair there and World's Fairs are very suspect they're very suspect World's Fairs have been a cover for a long time to destroy these buildings they claim that these exotic buildings were built just for the World's Fair in ridiculously small amounts of time and then they later use that as an excuse to destroy them because before the fair they they tell everybody oh these are just temporary buildings like they, they built some of the nicest buildings, you know, acres upon acres of the most beautiful buildings in the world and, and claimed to everybody that they built it just for that World's Fair. It's laughable. At that time, the technology that they had to lift heavy things into the air is what's called a hoist, which amounts to a pulley system pulled by a couple of donkeys. I mean, it's just ridiculous. You know, practice skyscrapers practically. Well, speaking of skyscrapers, the Empire State Building, right? The Empire State Building is not at all what we've been told it is. And I do not fully accept this idea, but the idea that the Empire State Building and the Manhattan Bridge were already there when the Pilgrims landed on Plymouth Rock. Okay? I don't know about that, but they were there a lot longer than what we're told they are and some of the most famous one of the most famous photographic series 
in the world is the construction workers building the Empire State Building. And let me tell you, all those pictures have been proven to be fakes now. It's all a type of a, and it's easy, even an amateur could determine that they're fakes because they're using a crude form of Photoshop at the time and also using, you know, back, painted background sets and stuff like this. And superimposing pictures, doing different techniques like that to make people think that this is what they're, and you know, they did, had some on-site pictures too. But what's curious about that is the men have huge tools where they're using big wrenches and stuff like what would turn a hexagonal bolt head and they have it on round hot rivets. In other words, the tools that they're shown using don't even correspond to the construction of the building. It's that obvious how, how fake these photographs are. And you can go check that out for yourself. If you doubt anything that I'm telling you, all of these things you can go check out for yourself. Now getting back to these, the Crystal Palace of London, for instance, it was supposedly built to have this big World's Fair. Well, it was so friggin' hot in there that part of it they covered up with tarps and boards and stuff like that really making it look not nearly as nice just because it was so damn hot well it was supposed to be hot it's a greenhouse it wasn't built for the world's fair it was built to be the society of people uh, and i don't even want to get into the you know, giants aspect of this whole thing because that that just opens a whole other can of worms right there but uh we know that that aspect exists because for instance in some recent news stories from Russia where one of the advisors to Putin was going to make a speech for the world press. He came out of a very exotic looking room and the door that he came from was very, very tall. And while he made the announcement, there was something right there by his head. It was about as big as his head. And it was about right there. It was about five feet off the ground. It was a fucking doorknob. Okay, what do you need with a doorknob the size of a man's head five feet off the ground? Okay, you don't. You don't, I don't, regular people don't. That's for giants, okay? That's for giants. That's why you have some of these buildings have roofs that are 30 feet tall, 40 feet tall, you know, just on and on and on. And on the doors are all, all, most of them have been made smaller. You know, you can see the original door was massive and then they made a smaller door inside the larger door to let regular people in. It's fascinating. Uh, my, I've got my little fellow adventurer here, Gunter, and he's very, uh, very keen to know what's going on with all these other dogs right now. So we're going to sign out for now. This is Anthropos reporting for Dacis, Texas. You don't know, huh? You don't know if we're going to act like you do. Because something bad might happen to you. Talking to you. Oh. Come here, guys. You're not going anywhere. You're standing right here.